I'm Amy Meehan on Sydney's original 2UE 954. You're unbelievable. It was unstoppable. It was unplayable. It was men you beat. On 2UE Sports Today with John Gibbs. You're unbelievable. Hang on. We've gone back to the future. What's happened here? That's the olden days. John Gibbs with you for the very last Sports Today program that I'll be presenting. And uh, look, there's been so, so many nice wishes. It's been overwhelming and a little bit humbling, or very humbling, not a little bit humbling. But I don't want to dwell on that because I just want to say I've had a great time. And Friday the 27th of November 2015 will be a date forever etched in my mind. And that is because of several reasons. And one of those is that I'll be presenting my last Sports Today program. I started here in 1985, so it is the end of an era. Excuse me for being a little bit self-indulgent. But the good news is there's plenty of sport happening, so I won't have to sit here and talk about this all night. We've had a lovely presentation this afternoon. I've been a little bit a little bit waylaid. We're going to catch up with an old correspondent, hopefully very shortly, and that is Mark War. He used to do the cricket for us, which is absolutely fantastic. And we've got some of the old ones back. Oh, look who's here. Look who's here. You know, I can't tell you who. I can't tell you yet. Warren. Hello, Warren. Oh, yeah, John. Uh, Warren and Fran Green from Collaroy Beach. Good on you, Warren and Fran. How's it uh, going, mate? Mate, uh, just a sad day. And uh, we've enjoyed your show so much, uh, listening intently over the years. And uh, it's a sad day, mate. And we, Man, a... we'd like to uh, wish you all the best. OK, I, I really appreciate that, Warren, and to Fran. And thanks for listening. And I'm not seeing it as a sad day. I'm seeing it as a, as a change in direction and all of those things. Thank, but thank you, Warren. I appreciate your thoughts. OK. Thanks, for, thanks very much, John, and all the best. Good on you, mate. And, you know, I've got a... I've got, why have I got a surprise? Mauricio, I've never seen you smile so much. It's as if Tony Popovich has come into the studio. Or, or P. Vakari. How's he going? That's Brandy. Hello, mate. Hi, Johnny. How what are you? you? I just, thought, I just thought I'd surprise you. Mauricio's not pulling his weight. So I thought for your last dig, I'd come in, I'd Fantastic. sit in here and uh, we'd chew mate, the fat mate, like I'm, we always I'm do. I'm just telling you, don't try putting an invoice in. It won't work. Right. Well, I've, I've already spoken to Clinton about that. Clinton said it, it, it'll bounce anyway. Now, what's been happening? What, I mean, my last, well, I, my last day, you've I, been I didn't, away for a year. How quickly has it gone? And there's so much happening. Yeah, and Gibbsy, I, I can remember the day that we're in here when, when Phil Hughes... Um, that, that tragic... Got hit. Yeah, and uh, that was one of the uh, most difficult days, I think, that we uh, were on air because it, it was the most shocking sports incident that we'd come across. Yeah. It happened there and then, and then we were on air, and it was a tough thing to do. It we... was, and particularly, Brandy, as we, we, we knew things that we couldn't say as well and knew it was dire right from the outset, and yeah. that wasn't immediately clear. So yeah. when you heard the news and then you knew how dire it was, it was... It was horrible. And then two days later, so that was yeah, two that's days a year, ago. That's a year's gone that, already. That, that's a year's gone. And they're playing that first test today. Yeah. Let me just say you've done a terrific job on your own. Well, I, yeah, I, and I it's miss very, you. What it's about very my paperwork? unique, Johnny. It's very what, unique. What about my paperwork? No one, no one on, on TV or radio does a sports show on their own. And you've been able to pull it off for the last 12 months on your own for two hours. And it's been yeah. terrific. I've listened probably too much because I've heard Mauricio come on. Far too well, often. Well, far too I, I, but it's been far too I was much doing my, but, but in the last, when I got the news that I was going, I thought I maybe I could, you know, give Mauricio a little bit of tuition and a bit of guidance. I thought he might he might get the gig, because if he got the gig, I was still going to look alright, and they might want me back. <laughs> so what what do we got on tonight? Who's who's coming up? Who who are your guests? We got Boz. We got Boz coming. We got Bozza. Boz. No, Boz Lee. Oh, Peter Bosley. Peter Bosley. Ah, the original. The, the original. The original. And Fantastic. I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hoping we can get Mark Wall. We're trying to get Mark Where's Wall. Where's Junior? Out at the cricket? He, Which he cricket? Was, no, he's at the Sheffield Shield today. Okay. And Junior was, because it was a year ago uh, yep. today, uh, well, it was two days ago when, when he got hit yep. at the SCG, but Mark Wall was at the Sheffield Shield game watching Phil Hughes to be... Because there, there was a spot open in the test side, Michael, wasn't Michael there? Clark was in there. That's down, right. Remember? And then yep. it just threw everything out of its ear. And what's happening with the Kiwis? Well, they're six down, aren't they? They're six for 157. Okay. They're six for 157. And uh, they, they won the toss and elected to bat. They're bowling two spinners. Now, what else are you talking about? Broadcast deal. Who, who are you speaking to about the broadcast deal? 
You. Okay. Well, well that'll do. No, we've, that'll had that, do. Yeah. we've had that cover. For uh, I know. I have no, been Fatty, I have Fatty's going to join us. Fatty's joining us. Good. Yeah, he's still with Channel 9, so he's part of it. That, yeah. That's as far as we can get. Good deal for Fox. Now, we're, good deal for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. I think, I mean, and what, what is little known is that in the lead up to the finals, yes, the Saturday night would have been good for some families that don't have paid television. Yep. But the way Fox were going to be valuable or they're going to get the value out of that was by having the Super Saturday. Yeah, and, and that would have been the least valuable of nine yes. games. Well, it's a, um, there's no doubt about that. I think it's the least, the least watched TV night is a Saturday night for yep. general, general TV. And that's the reason it's the only night that hasn't had a State of Origin game. State of Origin has been on every night bar a Saturday night. But the, five, la, the last five rounds on a Saturday night, mm-hmm. there will be a game live on Channel 9. But all games are simulcast, Betty. Yeah. Now, can you tell me mm-hmm. whether or not you're going to have your own commentary teams or will it be the Channel 9 team? No, I can't. I can only go on what they do with the AFL, and that's Channel 7 and Fox Sports have the, have the deals. So Channel 7's games are simulcast live on Fox for the AFL. And what they do is build a pre-game, half-time and post-game around, around the call from 7. So they don't call it. So the AFL don't call those games. I don't know whether I don't know what the the story is with the Fox deal with in terms of the rugby league deal. Now, Brandy, when I started here after finishing football, and uh, you know, tried to you were too young. Tried to, you retired too young. Tried to make a career though out of the media. Yep. So I started, and there was people that were outstanding in their jobs, and not necessarily former sportsmen. You did a similar thing when you retired. Well, one of those that we looked up to and started this program, Sports Today started it, is Peter Bosley, and I'm pleased to say Pete's on the line. G'day, Pete. Gee whiz, is this not like old home week? It's G'day, un- fellas, it's how a- are you? It's un- Hello, un- Boz. It's unbelievable, Boz, isn't it? It is. Now, what's this I hear today? Is, are you are you winding it up, Gibbsy? Is that the story? Yes, I... Uh, yeah. Well, yes. Uh, not he's be- my, not he's, a, he's not winding... A, oh, you know when in football terms they tap you on the shoulder? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, and say so when they tell the coach you're doing a fantastic job, you're not under threat. We'll we'll see you again next year. Is it one well, of those? I had the, <laughs> he's got the I support had, of the board. I, I had the full backing of the board. Oh, but anyway, no, it's all all good, boss. I'm happy with that, and and I'll move on. That's that's the way the cookie crumbles, and you've got to do your best. You have, mate. But I tell you what, I had a lot of fun with you two fellas, and. We started that show back in 1987. I did it for 19-odd years, and I did, you know, a hell of a lot of that time with you and Brandy. And, and I've got to tell you, people say, what the hell did you retire for? You had the best gig in the world. And I said, yeah, I did, but I think I was getting a bit long in the tooth. But, mate, it, it, was, uh, it was just magic to, to work with you two fellas and to cover all that sport. And I think we did a pretty fair job, to be honest. Absolutely, Boz. And, and there's never a week goes by when someone doesn't say... Do you ever hear from Peter Bosley? What's he doing? I said, well, he's he's up the Central Coast and he's playing been, golf, playing golf, and uh, he's he's just enjoying himself, which is yeah, what, playing very badly. You think you know three times a week, you think your golf would get well, better, but well, it doesn't. But Pete, last time I spoke to you, you'd actually shaved a few shots off your handicap. What are you giving them all back again? Yeah, I've got them all back again. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing at Kawinda Waters, which is a lovely golf course, and. Uh, you know, a great mob of members there, but there's water on 17 holes, Brandy, and you've played golf with me before, and as I have, have you, Gizzy, so now you know the story. Now, Boz, you better give us an update on the uh, on the Australian Golf Open. I would suggest that uh, you have been sitting at home and watching every minute of the golf when it comes on at midday. You have, and you know, you know I've, I've had to listen to that Peter Donegan who never shuts up, and I, I'm, I know everybody thinks he's a terrific commentator, but there are some things that just need to be watched, and golf is one of them. However, I won't... Uh, I won't bore you with my thoughts on that. I will tell you, though, that Matt Jones is leading at seven under par. Uh, the young fellow that was leading or second overnight, uh, young Lincoln Tyre, he has dropped to three under par. Todd Sinnott's four under par. Nicholas Colsart. Now, I opened my big mouth and said he won't make the cut, so he shot 66 today and he's three under par. So I'm a pretty poor judge. Uh, Aaron Price, Jordan Spieth, who's a real threat, uh, I think still Jeff Ogilvy, they're all at three under par. Darren Clark, mate, now he's probably as old as you. Well, he's definitely older than you two. He's nearly as old as me. Shot 67 today, Gibbsy, which was a fantastic round. Big disappointment, Adam Scott. I don't know what it is with Scotty. I know he's trying out the short putter, uh, but he's at two over par, so I guess he's not out of it. 
And Jared Lyle, great story. You probably didn't yes. hear anything about, about him no, on the telly today. Yeah, but he shot I, a 68 today, mate. After a 77 yesterday, boss, I was looking at him and thinking it was going to be a shame if he missed the cut. And Mark, oh. Mark Leishman, who's also had his issues with his family, he missed the cut, and was, that was a shame. What was the cut? Yeah, it, what was, was, it was. It uh, But I, I watched Adam Scott yesterday, mate. I think there's still hope for me. I mean, he was all over the place. Absolutely never seen, you know, like a number... Well, I think he's ranked number 12 in the world now, and... He was hitting it sideways. Um, so, and I, I, I saw uh, Pete Senior after his fantastic week last week. I saw Pete in the drink, and I think he finished about ten or eleven over par. So you never know. But but that course sorts them out. The weather, the wind, the tricky wind that's shifting in about four different directions. So I think Matty Jones would be smiling sitting there at, at minus seven. He knows that course pretty well, and uh, mate, I, I think he's going to give it a hell of a shake. Boz, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate, to uh, to have you on tonight, the last show, and it's uh, in many respects, and it's great that Brandy's in here as well now, which was uh, an absolute surprise. The end of an era, mate, but uh, we won't we won't dwell. We'll just get on with it. And I look That's forward, all you can do, Gibbsy. I look and forward again, to having mate, a game as of I, golf. I just like to say that one of these days we've got to have a game of golf, and uh, I wish you to. Well, you're doing all right, you two fellas, anyway, no matter what you do. I watch a lot of you. Jesus, haven't you come a long way, Brandy? I'm proud of you, mate. Well done. And it's nice to know that I had a little bit with, the, you know, both the, the start of both your, your sort of, I guess, your broadcasting careers. Only a little bit, but uh, it makes me feel pretty good. And good to talk to you both. Good Thank on you, Pete. Boz. Thanks, mate. There is good Pe- to talk. Peter Bozzi, the original and the best host of sports today. We were walking out and you got mobbed by Bulldogs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, not quite. <laughs> they were quite uh, rude, weren't they? Oh, nasty little people. Yes, I was saying the Panthers, how bad are they going? Your response to the Panthers and said, well, hey boys, how's the Bulldogs going? They've won one out of six. You didn't say a word. You said, I've got a sore foot. I said, Let's don't not fight. get into trouble. Let's not get into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I won't be able to run fast enough. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. I he said, said Brandy, don't say anything. I said, I said, mate, I can't run and I won't be, I'll be useless. My heels hurt. Well, there was a lot of them. Can you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Yes. And you, you, you backed down. <laughs> I had the plantar fasciitis. Went, yeah, I, could, that's right. I couldn't move. Now, I heard you talking about Greg Norman too. Now, remember when we were in here and Steve Wall got to 100 at the SCG? Oh, yes. Now, that was a big moment. Yes. That was a big moment, wasn't yes, it? Yes, that, that was a big moment. And that was a, that was a big moment for you when, when you were bagging Steve Wall and uh, Roger Wall, the father, rang up. He did. Yeah, it was me and Boz. <laughs> Boz just gave up on me. Now, another great mate of ours and one of the other great shows that was cut, axed by TUE, was the, was the Fatty and Gibbsy show on the weekend. It was wonderful. I don't know what I'd happened there. I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, and that's right. we've got the co-host of that show on, Fatty Porton. G'day, Fat. Johnny boy, Brandy. Hello, Fat. What, what I happened? I can't believe, John, I cannot believe, I mean... Look, it's bad enough getting rid of the Fat and Gibbo show, but how have they got rid of your show? It's unbelievable. <laughs> but mate, we we had we only lasted thirty weeks, but it was a tip top thirty weeks, the best thirty weeks of my life. It was Ch- fantastic. I love sitting there with you every Saturday and Sunday, gibbering and talking sport and having fun. You know, you know what happened? It was Charlie Parker. That's what happened. <laughs> oh, oh, he, he'd still be there somewhere, Charlie, wouldn't he? No, no I don't think no. so. No, Charlie's no. Charlie's moved on. Gone. <laughs> like we all end up gone yeah. at some stage. But mate, I just I rang up because you know you're my bestie, and um, I just want to tell you, you should be really proud of what you've done. Thirty-one years at the one joint in the media. I mean, it's unheard of, really. There aren't too many people who can lay claims to that. And uh, mate, you've been very professional. I remember, I remember my one of my early um, memories of you, of course, is when you worked on the as a sideline eye with the footy. And we won the uh, Manly won the '87 Grand Final, and I think you were the first one to interview me uh, after the match. We would beat Canberra 18-8. Um, you know that we've shared some great times. You were there in Origin when I coached Origin on the sideline as well. Um, and then, of course, I got to work with you. And you know, you've always been professional. Um, and you know what? I think you're one of the few people who's been in the media that is, is going to um, bow out tonight, but who everyone still likes <laughs> because you know you're extremely likable. I mean, some people in the media, as you know, can be quite nasty at times. But, you know, you are the original Mr. Likeable and always professional, always fun. Whenever I was driving home after a hard day's work, um, you know, for the footy show, I always used to tune Why in. Why did you only, you, listen on a, you only listen on a Thursday night before <laughs> the show? Fatty had listened before the show, so he knew what was going on. So he... Listen to yourself and, and Brandy and, you know, you, you two had a great career together. And But, you know, mate, 
out of out of the ruins, something good will come of yeah, it. No all, doubt about it's it. It's all good. All, all good. Yeah, it's been good. Well, I appreciate. I just, I, Go on. No, I just want to ring up and say that because you know you deserve it. And, yeah. You know, it's quite sad, but uh, mate, everything can't last forever. Yeah, but, it's, uh, mate, exactly you, right. And then look, I know that um, when I worked with you, I, I, it was just so much fun. You know, just a couple of guys almost sitting around a table in a pub having a chat, and that's how we tried to portray it. And, and yeah. you know, it was the same, I know, with yourself and Greg. So, well, well done. Yeah. Now, now uh, as part of this broadcast, still the $1.8 billion, are you going to get any of that? Are you, are you a piece of that? Does that mean there's another seven-year extension of the footy show? Hello? Hello? <laughs> 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 I can, mate, I'm, as you know, I'm on a week-to-week deal at nine. If, if I do, all right, mate, I'm, a, night, I'm on an hour-to-hour hour deal now. <laughs> I've got an hour and 15 yeah, to go. I know. No. But, look, yeah, it is, it is exciting for uh, uh, rugby league that, you know, all this money's going to come in. I just hope they find someone who can spend it properly. <laughs> that, I'll, I'll see you over the weekend. All right, champ. See Good you to hear from you, buddy. Yeah. Bye, mate. See, see you, Brandy. See you, mate. Yeah, thank you for the call. So, lots of things happen, Brandy. Yeah, we, we, had, we, we did have two, 10 good years, but we, yeah, we had 10 fantastic years. It is fun. Know? And to do something you like, um, sport and so I mean, we had a caller before saying about the big big stories. I mean, it's hard to... Mm. It is hard to just on the spur of the moment. I, re- I really haven't given that a lot of thought. But as I said, there's so many... Maccabi Diva. Emails are nice. Maccabi Diva winning yeah, the third that, was big yeah, for you. But, you, but that you was big. But, yeah, yeah, but Media Puzzle was big too because yeah, of Damien, Damien losing yep. his brother just before and all yep. of those things. Uh, the demise of Tiger Woods. It's a, yes. hu- it's a huge story. Yeah, big story. But, Tiger but, Woods to me would have been the best sports person ever. Yeah, and but we generally talk rugby league with, with people that would ring in. So the, the, the stories that stuck with me were the, were the bad ones. The, the Bulldog story. John was enormous. Like, and, and I got sick and tired of talking about that. Like, that was that wasn't a good story. Uh, the Melbourne Storm salary cap was enormous. Like, well, we we spoke about those for weeks. You know what? One of the biggest stories was, and and dragged on for a couple of weeks, and we kept talking about it. The Paul Gallon punch. No, oh. in, in state of origin. Yes. Like and that that went on that well, went on to the next state of origin game. That we were still talking about that two and a half weeks later. Not because we wanted to, but that was but it had just... A, and it had a big impact well, as it, it turned out because it stopped punching in rugby league. That's right. That and was it, a big one. That was a big one. I know you've got to get out of here at seven, mate. So I do. Thanks for coming in. Now, how's things looking for the Panthers? Things look good, Johnny. They've, uh, they're training hard. Anthony Griffin's a, a very impressive bloke. Um, in fact, the, mo- the more I talk to him, the more impressed I am. So I think he's going to do a, a, a good job out there. Trent Merrin's training hard and... I, I, if they can keep them on the field, I think they'll have a good season. I think all those young blokes, Peachy and Cartwright and uh, Matt Moylan, if they can keep him on the field, I, I think they'll go good. Uh, the pressure will be on the on the halves, depending on Pete Wallace should be good to start the season, and Jamie Soward, um, he needs to he needs to play better than he did last year. And if he does, well, I think they'll go well. And what are you thinking of Manly? Looks good, doesn't it? They've, I think they've done a pretty good job to get the players that they have, throw Dylan Walker into the mix. I, I thought they'd recruited well anyway, but, um, you know, to get Dylan Walker at this stage of the off-season, uh, I think Manly Manly will be very competitive again. Uh, again, it depends on their, their senior men. If Jamie Lyon turns back the clock and plays better than he did last year, well, I, I think they'll have a good year. Well, Brandy, thanks for popping in, mate. I really appreciate it. And uh, I, It's the least I could do, Johnny, because... Our time together was fun, and I was. really value your friendship as well. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're great mates, and, Johnny, you'll always have a special place in my heart. Good on you, mate. There is Greg Alexander coming in for our last show. Good to have him back. I'm Stuart Perry on Sydney's original 2UE 954. You're unbelievable. It was unstoppable. It was unplayable. It was magnificent. On 2UE. Sports Today with John Gibbs. You're unbelievable. Here we go for the second hour of Sports Today. We need to talk the Hyundai A-League. And my good mate, who's been doing it for many years with me, and I appreciate that, is Robbie Slater. G'day, Rob. G'day, Gibbsy. Yeah, mate, you you deserve all those nice emails and messages. Of course you do. Thanks, mate. And and you've been part of it, and you've been part of it for a long time now, and I appreciate that. (laughs) Really appreciate all of your help over many, many years, mate, and I look forward to to buying you a beer sometime in the near future. You're a good man, Gibbsy. Great show. Good on you, mate. Thank you, mate. Bye-bye. There is uh, Robbie Slater, and uh, just to show that Robbie's got nothing to worry about, although we did win the ACRA, uh, here is... Brandy, me, 
and a little bit of expertise. It was <laughs> it was Andy Pascalidis score um, us us calling the big Wanderers match. Here, here's just a little bit to uh, relive some of those memories. Well, listen to that crowd. Oh, gives you it's great down here on the sideline. Don't forget, it's not Golden Point. There's extra time. 15 minutes each way. I don't think I can get through that. It's a 90-minute game. Brady, things are livening up after the 15-minute mark. Oh, wasn't that lovely touch there from Hershey? Hesitation in a cup. Oh, the goal! Dressinger! How good was that, Brady? Hersey, Bridge, Dressinger. Oh, he's a great mover. I don't have that much of an idea, but we can tell, can't we, Brady, that this is high quality. Oh, it's a fantastic game. Gives you sports sport. Uh, it's skill, it's about effort, it's about speed. And we'll see the Brisbane Raw earn themselves a penalty. Free Restart kick. Barisha. Free kick. Oh, free kick. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that, that'll get me all night, don't worry. <laughs> Gives you with you on sports today, uh, and uh, look, I, I can't publicly acknowledge everyone who is um, is corresponding with me tonight. But uh, suffice to say, I'm I'm stunned by the reaction, and it, it, it's really nice. And and to all of those in the industry as well, colleagues that have said nice things on other programs, uh, TK, TK and Stu on the big sports breakfast this morning, lovely tribute. Obviously, my own colleagues here, uh, John and Gary and Bossy this morning, it's all very nice. Um, Graeme Hughes and Gavin Robertson on 2SM, it's lovely, and I, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, the Big O has been a long-term uh, friend of the show, and he used to do the quiz with us. He'd come on uh, the Fatty and... Uh, Gives his show. Actually, Fatty blames him for the demise, actually. <laughs> Hello, O, what's doing? <laughs> he said it was your fault. <laughs> How much love is there, mate? My That's God. That's good. Love's good, mate. Love's good. You... Mate, look, I'm not going to get emotional, John. Um, it's been a very somber time for me. Look, mate, you've had a great career at TUE, covering four decades, mate. Um, small stint at 2GB, but, mate, I've got no doubt, Gibbsy, that we'll be hearing your dulcet tone uh, again very, very soon. We'll see what happens, mate. But uh, yeah. th thank you for your quizzes, mate. You might have to. Uh, I might have to come. I'll be able to come to one of your uh, trivia nights now at one of the pubs. <laughs> Dick's Hotel, Gibbsy, mate. You are more than welcome in Balmain, mate. But no, seriously, John, now working with you and Brandy, mate, I was privileged to do that for three years. And of course, you mentioned Fatty, mate. Every Saturday for 12 months in 2013, I had that much fun with you two blokes. And uh, John, you're a champion. Much love, buddy. Take care, eh? Thank you. Thank you. And uh, just on. Uh, friends, and you talk about stats and you wonder where you get your information from. Well, my next guest has been helping us out for so long and uh, might I say, without without ever asking for anything, just doing it as a friend and uh, because he has a passion for his sport like I do, and I'm referring to the guru, David Middleton, who joins me. G'day, Meadow. G'day, Gibbs. Hey, look, I, I would have done anything for you and uh, it was a pleasure to help you at any time and... Uh I wish you all the very best, and I'm sorry to hear that, that Brandy's left you because I, I was wondering who was going to uh, hoist you onto their shoulders to do a final lap of the yeah. studio at 8 o'clock, and oh. then you'll have to do it you're on your own. Mauricio, he's got, he got shoulders like a brown snake. I'll crush him. <laughs> OK, thanks again for your help, David. I'll see you, of course, at the uh, footy games, and we'll be in touch, mate. And I, I recommend that everyone who loves their rugby league and is great value... It's about 20 bucks, and it is just a font of information. David Middleton's Rugby League Annual. Thanks again. Good on you, Gibbsy. Thank you, and all the very best to you. There is David Middleton, the guru. As we go to the break, everything doesn't always go perfectly, particularly when you're talking about advertisements. Adam Scott, Jeff Ogilvy, John Daly, Fred Couples, the world's most exciting golfers, are coming to town. <laughs> Shush, Brandy, for the 2009 <laughs> Australian Open. <laughs> at the New South Wales Golf Club and to you we are giving you the chance to be part of the action. <laughs> Brandy's gone. But anyway, every day next week we'll be giving away a double pass to any day of the tournament which runs from the 3rd to the 6th of December. Then on Monday the 30th of November all daily winners will go into the draw to win the major prize and the major prize includes two tickets to the final day of the tournament. Accommodation at the Crown Plaza Gucci. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. So this is it. Uh, thank you to everyone who's taken part in this program. Uh, to my work colleagues, it's been a great pleasure working with you. Uh, to the listeners, uh, those that have called, those that have corresponded. And as I said, during the last couple of weeks, I haven't been able to 
publicly acknowledge everyone. There has been so much goodwill and old-fashioned love, if you like, and that's what it's been. Uh, to uh, the people that have worked on sports today, uh, to my current staff, which is uh, Andrew's headed that up, I really uh, respect what you've done for me. Uh, Mauricio, I know he's, uh, he's, he's done a little bit more. He thinks he's getting paid by the word, but he's not really. He's not getting much. Stay safe. Stay healthy. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for sharing the journey. And remember, life is 10% what happens to you, 90% of how you deal with it.